Democrats in Richmond killed a number of controversial bills in the General Assembly yesterday. All of those measures created by House Republicans. Supporters say they aim to increase parental oversight in Virginia's public schools, but Democrats say they're avoiding an overreach. Casey Baylor breaking down three of the bills for us this morning. So Casey, what were these all about? Well, Dan State Republicans criticized Democrats for killing bills related to book censorship and parent involvement in schools. Now, one of those bills killed in the Senate would have required schools to notify parents and allow them to opt their children out of presentations or performances by outside groups. The other bill would mandate parental involvement in forming library policies. And Virginia Beach delegate Tim Anderson sponsored a bill requiring explicit content in school libraries to be electronically cataloged. This bill would also let parents restrict their child's access to it. Now, if you remember last year, Anderson filed a suit attempting to stop Barnes & Noble bookstores from selling, quote, obscene books to children. It's prolific. It's statewide. It's not a Virginia Beach problem. It's not a Chesapeake problem. It's not a Portsmouth problem. It is a statewide problem where librarians across the state have failed to protect children from materials that are not appropriate for them. And one Senate Democrat spoke on why those bills got shot down, saying that school divisions already have the authority to remove certain books from schools, and some divisions within the Commonwealth are already doing so. We're live this morning. I'm Casey Baylor for 13 News Now. Casey, thank you. That same Senate committee killed two other controversial bills yesterday. These two would have impacted transgender students. The first would have required student athletes to play sports based on their biological sex. The other bill would have required school staff to tell parents that their child identifies as a different gender at school. School. Critics say the measures would have hurt kids already at risk.